Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, I am going to explain you about the topic valuation of shares. Actually, shares means the part of the capital of a joint stock company. The capital of a joint stock company is divided into a number of parts of equal denomination. Each such part of the capital is called a share. So, in the meaning of the share is the part of the capital of a joint stock company. The people will buy the shares for different purposes. Some people will buy the shares as an investment so that they can be able to convert into, into cash whenever they require. Some people as an investment to earn some income like dividend. When a person purchases the shares of a company, they will get the share of profit from the company in the form of dividend and some people will buy the shares as a speculative purpose that means whenever the prices of shares are increasing in the market they will sell away when the market prices are low they will buy the shares they are speculators so different people will buy the shares for different purposes and every person who buy the share wants to find out what is the value of the share so all the persons who purchase the shares are interested in knowing what is the value of the shares. The value of the shares may be face value or intrinsic value or yield value or market value. So different values are there. The face value means the value of the share which is fixed by the promoters of the company at the time of issue of shares. And the face value will be printed on the share certificate. So once the shares value is fixed, it will remain same. Secondly, market value. Market value of share means the value at which the share will be traded in the stock exchange. In the market at what price the shares are bought and sold, that is called market value. Intrinsic value means the value which is determined by taking the balance sheet, by taking the assets and liabilities of the company we find out what is the value of the share that is called intrinsic value. Yield value means the value of share according to the profitability or return of the company. So on different basis, we have different value of shares. Now value of shares in stock exchange. Normally stock exchange is a market where securities are bought and sold. Shares, debentures, bonds, all these are securities which are bought and sold in the market. That market is called stock exchange. So stock exchange always we can get ready available value of shares. But this value is dependent on the beer, uh, bull and bear effects rather than fundamental factors. That means what is the demand, what is the supply, what is the trend in the market accordingly the price is fixed in the market. It does not depend on the fundamental factors of the company. Now, stock exchange price is basically determined on the interaction of demand and supply. Just like for any goods, the price is determined by the intersection of demand and supply. Similarly, the share price also depend on the demand of shares and supply of shares. So it does not reflect the true value of shares because the value does not depend on the performance of the company but according to the trend in the market. Now need for valuation. Why we need to calculate the value of share? There are different circumstances. In examination question will be asked what do you mean by share and what is the need for calculating the value of share? So first in case of public limited companies shares are generally quoted in stock exchange. There are two types of company, public limited and private limited. The public limited company shares are traded in the stock exchange. So anybody can readily available the value of share in the market, in the stock exchange. For which type of companies? Public limited companies. For ordinary transactions, we can rely on the market value. That means if we are buying or selling the shares in small quantities, then the market price is readily available. But when we buy in bulk quantity shares, large quantity shares, the market price of share is not true. We cannot depend on the market price because it is a price which is fixed by the market. It does not depend on the performance and uh, I mean the worth of the company. Next comes uh, shares of private limited companies. Private limited companies are those shares which are not freely traded in the market. That means the shares are not freely negotiable. 
in that case the shares can be transferred based on some conditions so how to calculate the value of share of a private company that again there is a need for determining the value of share of a private company for the purpose of amalgamation absorption etc again value of share is to be needed nowadays number of cases are there where mergers are taking place amalgamation absorption two or more companies are combining together at the time of merger amalgamation there is a need of calculating the value of share when the company is reconstructed internal reconstruction for the purpose of internal reconstruction again there is a need then when the government makes nationalization nationalization means taking over an organization from private sector to public sector so at the time of nationalization of a company then again there is a need of valuation of shares then when the class of shares are to be converted into another class there are different classes of shares so if a company wants to convert one class into another class again there is a need of calculating value of share for valuation of assets of finance of or investment companies nowadays there many investment companies are there in order to find out the value net worth of the company they need to calculate the value of share example mutual fund business insurance companies unit trust of india so many investment companies are there so these investment companies have to find out the value of their assets and in order to find out the value of the assets they need to find out the value of shares next for security purpose when loans are raised sometimes a person wants to raise a loan from bank and has to give security the shares can be provided as security again the banker will give the loan on the basis of the value of the security value of shares so there is a need for calculating the value of the shares when loan is taken and shares are given as security for assessment under wealth tax act so for the purpose of wealth tax act we have to find out what is the wealth of the ssc so again for finding out the wealth we need to find out the value of shares so these are the needs for finding out the value of share now methods of valuation of shares broadly we have three methods of valuation of shares the first method is net assets basis or intrinsic value basis or assets backing method or break up value method all these are same synonymous terms we can call it as net assets method we can call it as intrinsic value net asset backing method or break up and all means same second method is earning capacity method and last method is fair value method or dual value method so these are the three methods actually two methods are only there but the third method is simply the average of the first two methods now first net assets method or intrinsic value method this method will be mostly applied when large number of shares are purchased when bulk quantity of shares are purchased the normally we apply net assets method it's very easy method to find out the book value of share and in this method we consider the balance sheet that means we consider the assets and liabilities in order to find out the value of equity share so how to find out the value take all assets including goodwill and non trading assets that means first of all on the asset side of the balance sheet take all assets even intangible assets goodwill is there take the goodwill all tangible assets plant machinery furniture fixture current assets stock trade receivable debtors then cash in hand cash at bank even non trade investments like government securities are there those assets will also be taken ha huh? except fictitious asset if fictitious assets are there like preliminary expenses discount on issue of debentures or pnl account balance on the asset side then don't take the fictitious assets take the total of all assets minus all the outside liabilities external liability sundry creditors bills payable provision for taxation then apart from the outstanding expenses bank overdraft bank loan all these are external liabilities deduct after deducting deduct the preference share capital and arrears of preference dividend preference share capital if it is there on the liability side deduct that also and if any arrears of preference dividend is there if any then that also you deduct the remaining fund is called net assets or 
amount available for equity shareholders. So first, from the total assets, deduct external liabilities, deduct the preference share capital and preference dividend in arrears. Then we get net assets or amount available for equity shareholders. Now value of each equity share is equal to net assets available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. Divided by number of equity shares. This will give you the value of equity share according to intrinsic value. And this value is called intrinsic value. Net assets method. The second method is yield basis or earning basis valuation. The second method is called yield basis. Yield ka matla hota hai return. So according to return method, we are going to find out the value of share. Again, we have two uh, methods in this method. Valuation based on rate of return. Rate of return means the return which a shareholder earns on his investment. Whenever a person makes the investment, he will get the return in the form of interest, in the form of dividend, in the form of rent, etc. The, all these are called returns. But when the person invests the money in shares, he will get the return in the form of dividend. So here it is expressed in terms of percentage. So here return will be expressed in terms of percentage. The rate of return can be further classified as rate of dividend and rate of earnings. These are the two types of returns which a shareholder will get. So valuation based on rate of dividend. On the basis of rate of dividend, the value of the share is equal to rate of dividend divided by normal rate of return into paid up value per share. So rate of dividend divided by NRR into paid up value per share. This will give you the value of the share according to rate of dividend method. Now rate of earning method. So valuation based on rate of earning method, value of share is equal to expected rate of return divided by normal rate of return into paid up value of share. So the difference between dividend and earnings is in the numerator we have taken rate of dividend whereas here in the numerator we have taken expected rate of return. Denominator is same NRR and multiply by paid up value per share that is remaining same only numerator is changing here rate of dividend here rate of expected rate of return it depends on the problem if in the problem rate of earnings are given apply the second method if the rate of dividend is given apply the first form right and expected rate of return can be obtained by using the formula expected profit divided by equity capital into 100 this will give you ERR expected rate of return so after calculating ERR substitute and then you will get the value of share second method completed now the third and last method is dual method or fair value method this is not an independent method it's a dependent method on first two methods the dual price dual value method is simply the average of intrinsic value and yield value so simply take the intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2 you will get the fair value of share so in this video i have explained you about the valuation of shares what do you mean by a, mean by share value and what are the different values of share and what is the need for calculating the value of share what are the methods of calculating the value of share if you want the detail go to the playlist of my channel select the subject advanced accounting in that subject select the videos of valuation of shares all the problems are uploaded inshallah we'll take up the next topic in the next video